All right, so this is part one of uh, my review for these D rings that are made by DC Cargo Mall. Um, if you haven't seen their their store on on Amazon, check it out. They have everything you will ever need for your cargo storage needs. Um, what I wanted was these D rings. Um, so if you've never seen a D ring before, it's called a D ring because the ring itself makes a D and it fits underneath the loop there and then gets bolted into whatever it is you want it to be bolted into and now you have a, a, a nice ring to to hold on to um, what's different about these rings that you don't see with others um, a lot of others that, that you see on Amazon that are commonly sold in your in your you know local hardware store is just how robust they are these things are thick heavy steel and, and they're made that way for a reason because they're made to actually hold a large load and that's why I like to get these you can find D-rings much cheaper however at what cost and by what cost I don't mean the price of the ring I mean at what cost you're using these rings to secure a load which is going to be under an, an unknown amount of outside forces you know for me I, I'm going to install these in the back of my Silverado um, and I uh, oftentimes have to secure things down with various straps. Um, however, when I'm driving, you know those wind forces that are on, that are in the contents of my truck that, that are applied to the contents um, are are of you know unknown proportions. You know can be quite severe sometimes in, in stormy weather. And I want and I want something that I know is going to hold. And that's why I went with these guys because they make good stuff. So. So that's how it works. You put it on like that, um, and I just wanted to, to do some some measurements here, so you can see. So if we take the measurement of the gap there, a little less than half an inch, about one sixteenth of an inch less than a half an inch, going both ways. Um, the total length of the D-ring base is three and a half inches. The height one and a quarter. And the D-ring itself about oh sorry not in the camera about two about two and a half. Right, let's get it to the end there. So a little less than two and a half. And then the width, about two and a quarter. But you can see how thick these things are. I mean, they just, they feel, you know, when you feel this in your hand, you really feel like it's going to hold whatever load you have. Um, the second part of my review will be showing you the installation and how they look installed. Alright, so this is the last part of my video review for the... Uh, DC Cargo Mall D-Bolts 3000 pound version. Here I have four of them installed, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this one right here. Uh, what, I ha what I have there is uh, two 3 8 inch carriage bolts, which are the ones that uh, have that square shape underneath the, um, the round head. And that fits perfectly into the square shape of the D-ring, uh, the D-ring base there. So I have one there. One of them here, and I just basically have them on each side of the wheel wells. There we go, there's a good shot. Alright, and then I'll go ahead and go underneath the wheel well here to show you how I fasten them in, see if I can get a good shot here. There we go. So the way you saw there was uh, 3 8 inch flat washers um, fastened on by uh, 3 8 inch um, lock nuts. I did some research, you know, lock washers versus lock nuts and what I found was anything other than a marine environment um, 
the lock nuts would be uh, the ideal thing to use. So there's the fourth one right there. Um, some of the people on the talked about how uh, they were worried that like, or they, they said that, that they didn't like how these things moved around and made noise. Um, I guess, I mean, I have a Silverado. The way, the way that this is gapped here, um, it kind of prevents it from laying flat, which uh, I, would, I would presume is going to prevent it from making a whole ton of noise. I mean, we'll see as time goes. Um, you know, I just installed this bed liner too, which is probably offering uh, some resistance to, uh, to lateral movement on the D-bolt. Um, just to, for, for the sake of a shorter video review, I'll, I'll explain in my written review how I drilled the holes, which was quite uh, an effort. Anyways, so that's my review for the uh, DC Cargo Mall 3,000-pound um, D-bolts, or yeah, D-rings.